Hi everyone. How are you all of you? I hope all of you will be safe at the home. So today will be start the next lecture. Uh, next topic that is uh, types of the chemical reaction. In this topic, we'll be dealing with uh, types of the chemical reaction. So there are following types of the chemical reaction: combination reaction, combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double displacement reaction. precipitation reaction neutralization reaction exothermic and endothermic reaction oxidation reaction and this is next is the redox reaction so let's start the first chemical reaction that is a uh, uh, <coughs> combination reaction combination reaction combination reaction okay so in combination reaction what ah uh, yes combination reaction so what is the combination reaction combination as we see as we see here yeah? combination combination means addition adding of two substances okay adding of two substances so combination reaction the reaction in which the reaction in which the reaction in which two the reaction in which two or more reactants are combined two or more reactants are combined to form a single product called combination reaction called combination reaction okay means uh, if we write a uh, what happened here if we write a general combination reaction so here a plus b react to form ab so this is the combination reaction means two reactant to combine to form a single product called combination reaction got it now <coughs> let's understood by taking example first is the burning of coal burning of coal when coal is burnt in the presence of oxygen it form a carbon dioxide gas so if you see here carbon react with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide that is a single product okay here two reactant carbon and oxygen combine to form a single product so it is a it is a combination reaction okay now next formation of water formation of water if we mix yeah if uh if hydrogen gas react with the oxygen gas it form the water molecule so see here here hydrogen and oxygen combine to form a single product so it is also a combination reaction now formation of soda lime formation of sorry uh, slag lime formation of slag lime <coughs> here quick lime that is the calcium oxide react with the water to form slag lime that is a calcium hydroxide so if you see here here two reactant calcium oxide and water react to form a single product that is a calcium hydroxide so it is also a combination reaction now next fourth example if we burnt magnesium ribbon in the presence of <coughs> oxygen then it's form the white substance that is the magnesium oxide so here magnesium and oxygen two reactant combine to form a single product so it is also a type of combination reaction now next example 
what is the formation of calcium carbonate so here calcium oxide that is a quick lime break with the carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate that is a marble that is a calcium carbonate so here two reactant calcium oxide and carbon dioxide two reactant are combined to form a single product so these all are the combination reaction got it understood now <coughs> let's see next next combination reaction is the that is the decomposition reaction so now decomposition reaction so decomposition as we <coughs> see uh, by the term decomposition means breakdown decomposition means breakdown so let's see the definition of the decomposition reaction here the chemical reaction in which one compound decomposes into two or more compounds or elements are known as decomposition reaction means if uh, one substance is, is break down into two or more than two substances called decomposition reaction let's take a general chemical uh, reaction to represent the decomposition reaction here see a b decomposes into a plus b so here a single reactant decomposes into two or more reactant if you see here this is just opposite to the this is the just opposite to the combination reaction this is opposite to the combination reaction got it so we can say that decomposition reaction is opposite to the decomposition reaction is opposite to the combination reaction okay and decomposition reaction all decomposition it may be brought by the application of heat electricity light etc means any substances is break down in the presence of heat means when we uh, apply the heat uh, uh, electricity light etc then compounds are decomposes okay so on the basis of this application decomposition reaction further of three types thermal decomposition thermal decomposition electrolysis electrolysis and photolysis that is the photo decomposition are photolysis so there are three types of the decomposition reaction thermal decomposition reaction electrolysis and photolysis let's see one by one was thermal decomposition as the name suggested thermal thermal means heat therm sorry therm means heat therm means heat so when a substance is decomposes by the heat called thermal decomposition reaction here those decomposition reaction the decomposition reaction which are brought by the heat are known as thermal decomposition reaction those decomposition reaction means the the decomposition means uh, if, if any substances is break down by uh, by the application of heat called thermal decomposition reaction take example take example first if we heat limestone that is the marble yeah calcium carbonate if we heat the calcium carbonate then it is break down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so here see calcium carbonate is decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide here one reactant that is the calcium carbonate calcium carbonate decomposes calcium carbonate is decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide calcium oxide and carbon dioxide okay so this is the decomposition reaction got it now take next example here this is the very important reaction and uh, 
in the last year uh, in 2018 i think one question are a two one or two questions are arises from this equation okay so let's see <coughs> here when we heat ferrous sulfate when we heat ferrous sulfate is decomposes into the ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gas so here one reactant is decomposes into two or more than two products or substances so this is the decomposition reaction now here see question here is what happen when we heat ferrous sulfate crystal okay so ferrous sulfate crystal uh, formula of the ferrous sulfate is the f actually it is the feso4 into 7h2o feso4 and 7h2o here this 7 this h2o is known as crystallization of water this is known as crystallization crystallization of water and here the question in the viva or in the body examination is a question arise what is the function of this water so this water provide the color of the ferrous sulfate this is the green in color due to the presence of the water okay means ferrous sulfate is green in color due to the presence of this water okay now if we uh, heat the ferrous sulfate then first of all the water is evaporate water evaporate and the ferrous sulfate is turned into the ferric oxide which is reddish brown in color and produce two gases that is the sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide okay so here ferrous sulfate crystal feso4 into 7s2 loses water when heat and the color of crystal that is green in color changes which is changed in reddish brown in color it then decomposes to ferric oxide so it found the ferric oxide which is reddish brown in color and uh, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide so here ferric oxide solid in state and those these uh, two gases so it is gaseous in state so this is the very important reaction okay so when we heat the ferrous sulfate then the green color of ferrous sulfate is changes into the reddish brown in color and release two gases that is the sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide got it okay let's move in the another type which is uh, uh, take one more example one more example here this is also the very important if we heat if we heat lead nitrate then then it uh, decomposes into it forms it forms the yellow substance and uh, produce or emit brown fumes okay so here yellow substance is the lead oxide and brown fumes is the nitrogen dioxide here the question uh, here one question is arise here one question key what you observe when we heat lead nitrate in a boiling test tube so we observe two here we observe two observation first uh, formation of formation of <coughs> yellow substance formation of yellow substance which is lead oxide pvo and <coughs> second and second is a uh, emission emission of of brown fumes emission of brown fumes which is which is nitrogen dioxide so this is very important 
this is very important reaction and here the question is also arise what happened uh, are uh, here uh, if we take uh, lead nitrate in a test tube and uh, heat and heat so what do you observe so we observe two observation one observation uh, is the formation of yellow substance which is lead oxide and uh, second one is the uh, emission of the brown fumes which is uh, nitrogen dioxide okay got it now second electrolysis this is as in the name suggested electrolysis means here uh, when is one substance is decomposes into two substances two or more substances by the uh, passing of the electricity called electrolysis so here see decomposition the decomposition reaction which is carried out by passing electricity are called electrolysis or electrolytic decomposition reaction okay so uh, when a substance <coughs> any substance uh, is decomposes into two or more substances by uh, passing electricity called decomposition electrolytic decomposition reaction or electrolysis so let's take example electrolysis of water okay electrolysis of <coughs> water here sorry <coughs> electrolysis of water so when we pass electricity through the water then it decomposes into the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas <coughs> sorry so here if you see here when electricity passed into the water then it decomposes into two molecule of hydrogen gas and one molecule of oxygen gas so here it decomposes into the two ratio one here the two is the hydrogen gas and one ratio is the oxygen gas it means we can say that water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen in two ratio one okay so if uh, two molecule of hydrogen react with one molecule of one molecule of oxygen then it form then it form it form two molecule of two molecule of water it form two molecules of water okay so understood two molecule of ox uh, hydrogen react with one molecule of uh, oxygen then it form the two molecule of water okay what it now another example when we pass electricity through the aqueous solution of sodium chloride then it is decomposed into the uh, sodium aqueous sodium and uh, chlorine gas similarly if we pass the electricity through the aluminium oxide then it also decomposes into the aluminium and oxygen gas okay now another uh, third one third decomposition reaction is the photo decomposition or photolysis as the name suggests a photo photo means light so here the decomposition reaction which is carried out in the presence of light called photolysis okay or photo decomposition this is the <coughs> important is it also important so here let's understood by taking example if we put a silver chloride in the sunlight then it decomposes into the silver and released chlorine gas okay here the question also uh, arise what happened when we put a silver chloride gas uh, sorry silver chloride in china dish in china dish in the 
sunlight in the sunlight so this is the silver chloride agcl so if we put silver chloride in china dish then it decomposes into the silver and chlorine guess okay, so got it now another example silver bromide bromide similarly silver bromide if we also uh, put silver bromide in the sunlight then it also decomposes into the silver and release bromine yes here <coughs> this reaction is utilized in uh, black and black and white photography okay so mean, means this uh, this uh, reaction this reaction is used into the photography for the formation of negatives negatives uh, uh, in the older time uh, photos are uh, extracted from the negatives okay so this uh, first uh, we uh, once the negative with the silver chloride or silver bromide then the photo becomes the clear okay and uh, uh, the cricketers cricketers uh, uh, wearing the sunglasses that is also uh, at the ab surface of the sunglasses or uh, coating with the silver chloride or silver bromide or silver hydride okay and uh, when the light fall on the glasses then it decomposes and uh, and, uh, and the uh, eye protected from the directly sunlight and the bath uh, sorry and uh, uh, ball clearly watches okay so this is the and uh, this reaction is uh, used in the black and white photography here also one question is raised why we put silver chloride in dark matter okay uh, if we go to the uh, chemistry lab and uh, uh, you can see uh, uh, calcium uh, chloride uh, one uh, one uh, one solution put it in the dark bot dark bottle dark bottle this is this is a uh, silver chloride so here silver chloride is put in the dark bottle because uh, uh, it is decomposing if we put in the uh, sunlight then it decomposes into um, um, silver chloride and chlorine gas so uh, we put uh, silver chloride or silver bromide in the dark bottle not in the clear glass okay so this is the complete description complete explanation of the uh, two uh, two types of reaction uh, combination reaction and decomposition reaction in the next uh, next uh, lecture we will discuss about the displacement and double displacement reaction i hope all of you will be understood uh, if you if you have any problem comment below and uh, i hope all of you will be understood okay thank you for your patience and uh, listening i hope uh, okay so be safe stay at home as always god bless you thank you very much